Okay, you're relatively new to PvP and you probably didn't understand my video, but that's fine. This video will be explaining the combo, the build entirely, and what each and every little thing does, as well as some general advice, and how to get better at the combo. Okay, we're going to be opening up the combo with Doe X, and the reason why we're going to use Doe X is because Doe X is an important stun for Doe. Doe X is usually the lifesaver of Doe, and the opening of any combo for Doe. Domex is able to just bypass Observation Haki usually, and catches the opponent anyways. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to be using Doe V. With Doe V, you're meant to hold it for as long as possible. And the reason why we do this is because Doe V is one of the most crucial moves in Doe as well, because of how long it is. This is the very main move that bypasses Fishman V3 and their 80% damage reduction, it might be more, and allows for a one-shot combo. Okay, so near the end of Doe V, you can tell by looking at it and just listening to it, after the end of Doe V, what you want to do is put in a sneaky Doe-Z, which is going to shoot a observation breaking move, and then immediately press Doe-C. Now, for a beginner, this is going to be hard to pull off because you need to have quick hands and muscle memory. So if you are new to it, you don't have to use Doe-Z and then Doe-C. You can instead skip from Doe-V straight to Doe-C. The main aspect of the Do V to the Do C is so that you can start using your fighting style and your sword combo. As soon as you get someone into a Do C, they are screwed. That's the main aspect about Do as well, is that the Do C is very powerful. When you're using Do C, you will be invulnerable. No one can hit you, and you've secured a combo. That's usually how it works. If you have bad ping, of course, the enemy can break out uh, simply at the end when you smash them down and they just start skywalking. After you've got them with Do-C, just wait and prepare for your next section of the combo. What you wanna do is during the Do-C, when it spins around the enemy, you wanna aim your camera down. And the reason when you aim your camera down is because if you aim your camera anywhere else, like horizontally, uh, maybe to the sides, maybe up, what it's going to do is actually, it's going to send the person up. What am I trying to say here? Once you've aimed your camera downwards, you want to switch to your CDK, and it's fine. You can switch weapons during your DOC move. That's the freedom that you get with DOC. And so what you want to do is, as I said, you want to switch to your CDK and get ready to press and hold Z. Now once it slams them down, you want to wait just a little bit before you press and hold CDK Z. The reason is because after you use OC, you're actually a little bit stunned. You can't use any moves for about, I'd say, one second or less, maybe half a second even. And so you want to time it correctly. With enough practice, you'll get it down pat. It's very easy. You won't even have to think about it. It will, be, it will become something subconscious. So don't worry. Just have a lot of practice with that one. But yeah, after you've finished with Doce, use CDKZ. And what you want to do is you want to hold them. You, you might see the opponent go right up and pass your CDKZ. But as soon as you see some damage being ticked off in the damage counter, that means you've got them. The good thing about CDKZ is that even though you can can trick it, it is very hard because during the combo in DOC, it breaks the observation hockey, as well as CDKZ can be very quick. And I'll explain more on that later. Now, once you've caught them with CDKZ and they're swirling about in your little uh, red electricity, what you want to do is you want to aim downwards and send them down. As soon as you let go of Z, CDKZ, as soon as you let that go, you want to switch very quickly to God Human and then press Z again. Now what that does is it's going to fly you down into the opponent while they're being sent down by your little uh, electric whirlpool and you're going to catch them. As soon as they're hit by that Z move of God Human, 
they are screwed. Because the main damage dealer of the hybrid doe build combo is the fighting style. Now let's move on. So after God Human Z, you want to use God Human C right after. And then after that, use God Human X. Now this can this part of the combo is actually one of the fastest, but with enough practice you'll be able to get it. The best ways to learn any combo in Blocks Fruit is that you should practice the sections you're really bad at and as well as practice the sections you're really good at so that you can master them. So if you fail at the Do C to CDKZ, if you fail that part, just practice that on a mob. You don't have to practice that on a player. You don't have to practice that on the boss. You could, but you could just get a normal mob. When you're practicing a combo, don't try and practice the whole thing at first. Try and practice sections of it bit by bit and then you can practice the whole thing once you've got everything down pat. So if you're struggling with CDKZ, uh, Do C to ZDKZ, then just practice that bit. Don't don't use don't use Do X, don't use Do V. Just go straight into a Do C on a mob and just try and time your CDKZ correctly. And now if you're struggling with the CDKZ and the God Human part then just practice them individually. If you're struggling with the God Human part, then a good combo to practice on God Human is a very basic one. It's God Human Z, God Human C, and then God Human X. That's the solo God Human combo. It cannot one-shot anyone. Actually, it probably could, like low levels or something, but usually, it would not be able to one-shot, but it will do about three quarters of someone's health. That's how strong God Human is, so that's why it's OP. Moving on, we're still going with the combo. After you use God Human X, you want to catch them again, because God Human X is something that is known as a finisher. It's usually the last move that you use when you're finished with a combo. You send them off into oblivion using the uh, little air blast. But in our case, we're not going to do that. We're going to catch them again. So while they're being tossed around in midair, you want to quickly switch to your Do, and then quickly catch them using Do X. Now you need to have good aim with this one. You need to, you need to have that CSGO aim, or just any aim really. And you need to have some quick reactions. So once you catch them with Do X, simply shoot them with Do Z. And there you go, that's a variant one of the combo done. And it's also going to be the most common one that you're going to use. Okay, so unfortunately, since the video is already too long from just me explaining the combo, um, I could not implement some tips and some advice, I guess, for PvP using the build and explaining other things such as the fighting style and the soul guitar and the CDK and how you're meant to use them outside of the combo. Um, so I'll make another video for that uh, in the future. Um, for anyone that's interested in the hybrid build, there's a lot more in depth of the hybrid build and I can explain why it's better than a domain, just fruit maining using 2400 stats into fruit, uh, so yeah.